morning today, more than 121,000 students are headed back to the classroom. Fox 5's Heather Lake joins us live and explains what families need to know about the safety measures on campus. Have you seen anyone yet, Heather? Oh yeah, there's lots of students arriving on campus. You know, they have a pep rally planned for this morning at Mira Mesa High School. That's where we are to get the day started. Thousands of students going back. There are some changes. For San Diego Unified School District, last week they announced that students will have to wear masks on indoors and outdoors regardless of vaccination status. And that was guidance from the state um, health department basically saying if you do come in contact with somebody who happens to have COVID-19, you won't have to do the same amount of quarantine if you were actually wearing a mask. So that's supposed to help keep students in the classroom and make sure that they don't have to do all the quarantining throughout the year. So right now, students have to wear those masks indoors and outdoors, but there are going to be frequent breaks. That's for athletics, for music, for performing arts, and especially lunchtime. So we're going to talk about that because there's so many changes happening for students. And to talk about lunchtime, we've got Fred Espinosa, who's the Director of Food and Health Services with San Diego Unified. This is pretty amazing because what you guys have done have changed the lunch hour for many students. You're now able to serve everybody outdoors. Basically, they grab their food and they can find a place outside to eat, but then you're also changing meal time. So let's talk a little bit about what students need to know about their meal time and, and how that's going to look for them. So many changes for them throughout the year. Yeah, there, there are a lot of changes. Um, first of all, we're just really happy to have the students back. We know they're excited to come back. The little kids are excited to see their friends and we just want them back. So our goal is to give them healthy food to make them successful in school. A lot of changes. We used to serve 60,000 kids breakfast in the classroom. Now we'll be sending breakfast home with them every night, and we hope that their parents will make it for them before they come to school ready to learn. As far as lunch goes, uh, it will be served on every campus, all 200 sites. All lunches will be served outdoors. Uh, we are recommending six feet social distance, and kids will come to the cafeteria. They'll grab a lunch, five components. Um, California food for California kids is what we believe in. So healthy food, successful students, they'll take their lunch, uh, they'll go uh, find a place to eat and they'll eat it yeah. and then go back to class. You guys were serving all of these meals for students out of a parking lot for so long. And so right. now you're able to do this. You're sending students home with this bag, which is this is kind of what it looks like. And so it's got three meals and you actually don't have to apply. So every student can go home with three meals a day. That's correct. All 100,000 students at San Diego Unified, 18 and under, can eat free every day. We'll be sending home 17 meals a week. So we'll serve lunch on campus, which we just talked about. We'll, serve, we'll send home a breakfast and a supper. And then on weekends, we'll send home an additional lunch for Saturdays and Sundays. So 17 meals a week, absolutely free, no applications. Come eat with us. Yeah, and I know you guys have lots of great fruits and veggies too to make sure that students, you know, if they're fed, then they'll be able to learn better. So we appreciate what you guys are doing out here. And for all these students, I know there are a lot of families out there still struggling through lost jobs and, and things that have happened in the past year. So we hope that everyone can come back to school healthy and happy and stay healthy and happy. Yes. Fred, thank you so much. Um, there's also a press conference that's happening right now across campus. And so we'll get you more information on what parents and students and teachers will all need to know to stay on campus and keep these campuses campuses open throughout the school year and that's going to do it for us at Mary Mesa High. I'll send it back to you in the studio for now. All right, Heather Lake, thank you. We'll see you soon.